guys, welcome back to my channel. This is part two of three of my BSMD video series. If you haven't already checked out part one, where I talk about combined degree program pros and cons, go ahead and check that video out first. In this video, I'll talk a little bit more about what my experience was when I was trying to decide between, okay, should I go to this dual degree program or should I have the opportunity to study at a different institution, which actually was originally my dream school that I was accepted to. What I experienced in college and how that may or may not have been different from just a normal Bachelor of Science pre-med student about what the transition was like for me um, going from my undergraduate career to medical school and how that may or may not have differed from any classic pre-medical student. So like I said before, I want to touch a little bit on how I actually chose the BSMD program as opposed to other colleges that I was accepted to. All throughout high school, my dream college was Washington University in St. Louis. Like, I had wanted to go there so bad, it was so perfect. I had visited and I really loved it. The campus was beautiful. I have family down there, so it was really nice to know that I have people close by. And I just really enjoyed it. Like, you know when people talk about that moment when they step on the campus and they're like, I know this is the college for me. I totally had that moment. I was so thrilled when I was accepted. And then I was like, okay, well, I'm also applying to this BSMD program. And I knew in the back of my mind that if I got into the program, I was pretty much set to go. Like I was gonna go because no matter how perfect Wash U felt to me that day that I visited, I knew even stronger that medicine was my dream career. And I was really willing to do anything to get to that career. And I still am today. I remember getting my acceptance letter to BSMD. I just remember I had heard like the email Dean go off on my phone when I was driving to school. And so as soon as I pulled into the parking lot, I opened the email and it said, you know, congratulations. And it was such a real moment for me. Like I was just sitting in my car in my high school parking lot. And it's funny cause like I just knew at that moment that I was gonna be able to be a doctor. Like my passion and my dreams, I just felt like they were coming true. Obviously, I knew there was so much more hard work to go through to get to that point. And I know there still is tons of hard work for me until I get to that point. When I got that acceptance letter, I really don't know what came over me, but I just started crying. Like I was so ridiculously happy and so grateful. I'm such a nerd. Like, oh my gosh, this is such a hard decision to make. Do I go to this straight shot kind of direct seven year program for medicine or do I go to my dream school, which is like one of the highest pre-med programs in the country. And then I realized it was so ridiculous. Like I was crying because I was choosing between two really amazing op options. And then I realized how grateful I was to have those options. And I really just had to sit down logically and think, okay, at the end of the day, what do I want? And what I wanted was to be a doctor. More than anything, I wanted to be a doctor. And it didn't matter what program I graduated from, where I was in the country, like that is all I wanted at that time. And still today, obviously. And so for me, BSMD was just the way to go. I knew that the BSMD program was for me. And it wasn't easy even when I started college, honestly, like I knew it was for me, but I still had trouble because it wasn't my particular dream school originally. Um, when I got there, I was upset the first few months of college and just cause I felt really homesick. I was really close to my family and I was in a long distance relationship at that point. It was really hard to get used to being away from home and just like having that thought in the back of my mind that, oh, I wasn't at my like dream campus. Those ideas kept creeping up, but it was really easy to remind myself, I'm here for a reason. This is my passion. This is what I wanna do. I wasn't gonna let location be a factor for me. I wasn't gonna let myself make my life harder by letting myself feel miserable. So I looked for all the positives. I loved my college experience. It was tons of fun after those first few tough struggle months. I think mainly that came because of Phi Delta Epsilon. It's the medical fraternity. I joined Phi Delta Epsilon my second year of college and that's where I met most of my friends. It was super easy to relate to them, obviously, because we all were driven by the same passion and we had tons of the same classes together. So we'd be up late studying together. Some of them were my roommates for a while. Just being part of that family really helped me feel less homesick. So I had tons of time to do other things. Like I said before, I was taking 18 to 21 credits a semester, but you were picked for this program because you can handle that. So if you are accepted to a BSMD program, then just know that you can handle the amount of work 
and still tons of time. I worked as a tutor for my university. I also did private tutoring on the side. I was able to work as a teaching assistant for genetics and anatomy. I was even a coordinator for one of the courses in genetics. And I still had tons of free time for other like non-academic things. For instance, I got certified to teach yoga at a 200 hour program. It was a great experience, totally set apart from my academic experience, but I still had the time to do that. And I feel like the fear of not having enough free time to just kind of enjoy life shouldn't be something to dissuade you from a BSMD program. I definitely still have time to shadow and to volunteer at hospitals and all that good stuff too. So I definitely still want to keep keep up with um, other people who are going to be entering medical school. I want to, you know, keep my passion strong by continuously seeing clinical experiences and volunteering in the hospital and with the hospice as well. So I think that, again, just because you're in a BSMD program doesn't mean you have to take away anything from your college experience. If anything, you actually can kind of get more out of your college experience because you're not so focused on being competitive and you're just focusing on like being in the moment, being present, which again is something that you should just always try to do, but it really does help to have that extra weight just kind of lifted off your shoulders. One piece of advice that I do give though is if you are in a BSMD program, be humble about it. There's no need for you to go around your campus and being like, oh, I have a seat saved in medical school, like I'm hot shit, sorry. But like, no, like no one wants someone to be cocky. Like, you don't want a cocky doctor or, you know, like the God complex kind of thing. Be humble about it. Like be super grateful that you have this opportunity and that you are in this amazing position. And don't, don't show that off. You can feel proud about it, but don't rub it in other people's faces because I'm sure if you have other pre-med friends, you see that like there's so much pressure already. They have immense amounts of pressure to hit certain hours for shadowing and, and volunteering and to hit certain GPAs and MPAT scores and all that is so stressful. They don't need someone being like, oh, guess what, like, I only have to get this GPA minimum. Like, they don't want to hear that. You shouldn't feel good about going around bragging like that. You don't have to hide it and like lie about it if someone asks you, but I'm just saying be humble. It's just a good life value I think to have too, just be humble. Try not to make other people's lives harder than they have to be. Last thing I want to touch on before I end this video is my transition to med school. So I'm currently a second year about to start my third year next month. I just want to talk a little bit about how I felt going into med school. Like anyone else, I felt totally overwhelmed and totally unprepared for med school, but I promise you that's like pretty much no different from anyone else entering med school. Like no one feels ready or I don't know, maybe I don't I don't know how other people feel, but I really feel like you can't know what it's like until you're there and you never really feel ready like you are. They accepted you into their program because you're ready for med school and you've proven that you can do the hard work and that you're tons intelligent enough. That doesn't like make it any less hard. You're gonna feel overwhelmed. You're gonna feel like you don't belong at sometimes, maybe even, like I definitely did. And it was really hard because for me, one thing I struggle with a lot is comparing myself to other people. It was so easy to be like, oh my gosh, that guy has a PhD and I, like don't even actually have my degree yet because we have to wait an extra year to actually like receive our like physical degree um, because we finished our degree early. So I was like, wow, I like don't actually even have my like bachelor of science yet and I'm sitting next to this guy who has his PhD or I'm sitting next to this guy who's married and has four kids. It's like, I feel like totally deficient in my life experience and my like school experience and I was just like, oh my God, I must be like the most stupid one here because I'm like one of the youngest people here. But that's just such a lie. You're gonna feel like comparing yourself to other people. Some people have experience as nurses or as like scribes or they have other experience in the medical field. So they're gonna know some stuff already. They're gonna be like, oh yeah, like I know the protocol for this, whatever. But don't let that overwhelm you. Like everyone catches up. Like I think at the beginning, people are at really different levels sometimes just because of their past work experience and different school experiences. We'll see that a few months into school, everyone's pretty much at the same playing field and don't get down on yourself. The transition to med school is hard, but the BSMD program isn't the reason why it's hard. It just is that way. So I don't think that choosing to go an accelerated path is gonna take anything away from your preparedness for med school. 
So I hope you enjoyed this, what my personal experience was like in the BSMD program. Um, if you have any other questions or if you have any comments about anything, definitely leave a comment below. And um, I will be doing another video, and in that video I'll be talking a little bit more details about what it's like to actually apply for BSMD program, maybe what my stats were when I applied. I'll talk a little bit about the application process and the interview. So keep an eye out for that video.